Hi, I'm Lisa, a business and property owner here down in Melbourne. In one of my previous videos called Six Helpful Things I've Learned Purchasing Two Properties Before 30, a number of you messaged me on YouTube and on Instagram asking me whether or not I could do more videos on property and you had specific questions. And one of those questions was, what sort of books and resources should you look into? Let's get into the one and only book recommendation I have, which is From Zero to 130 Properties in Three and a Half Years by Steve McKnight. I'll explain to you later why I only have one book recommendation, but let's just dive straight into this particular book and why I found it so helpful. So this particular book was written in the early 2000s and it goes through Steve McKnight's own property journey in time even earlier before that, which means that this particular book is somewhat dated. A lot of the strategies that he implemented during this time aren't as applicable today just because of tighter lending restrictions, inflation of homes, and a few other varying factors. But what I still found incredibly helpful was the mindset and attitude that Steve McKnight had and how it's still hyper relevant for any property investor today. Steve grew his property portfolio from zero to 100 properties in 3.5 years, resulting him in a 200,000 per year positive cash flow right into his pocket, which is absolutely crazy. And yeah, I feel like these days you can't just go from zero to 130 properties in 3.5 years, but that you can still follow a lot of his steps. I've previously talked about how everyone has different property strategies and how important it is for you to understand what your property strategy is going to be because there's gonna be a lot of noise that you need to cancel out. So if you are somebody who's going down the negative gearing pathway, I still believe that this book would be incredibly helpful still just because again, of the attitude, the mindset that McKnight has, but also I, the thing that I really love about this is that he is an accountant. So he simplifies a lot of concepts and explains them in a way that anyone can understand. And he talks about personal finance principles to get you to where you want to be, like basic things such as don't spend more than you earn and how to avoid bad debt. But also towards the end of the book, he's got templates and checklists for you as well. So if you're going to go and inspect a house, there's an entire checklist that is right there for you that you can use and take with you to any property inspections. He also has calculation templates as well to help you understand what sort of cash flow you're gonna get from a property, whether that's positive or negative. And then from there, sort of how you can make an informed decision of whether or not you're going to go and purchase this property. That is why I really love this book. And the reason why I only have one book recommendation is just because I think a lot of property investment books are outdated, to be honest. Um, even this one is, but it had some really good elements to it. And I was actually quite surprised when I was going through my Kindle and finding all the property books that had read. This is the only one that I would truly recommend. The others are so-so and I'll talk about more about them later in this video because I'll make sure I have a list for you of the ones who didn't make it into this video just so you can see whether or not they would work for you. But anyways, let's move into the videos. As I was researching property and trying to understand more about property, I found that online resources were actually a lot more helpful and informative, but also hyper relevant. And I ended up on YouTube quite a bit. And I think that's where I did most of my learning. And the best part of all of it was that it was free. The first video that I came across was on property with Ryan. And Ryan is just an absolute beast at pumping out videos. You can tell that he is hustling hard and he's recently sort of shared more about his financial journey, which is super cool to see because he's very entrepreneurial, has lots of things going on for him. And so he covers a lot of foundational knowledge for property, including things like cash flow, getting loans from the bank, um, using your equity to leverage and purchase your future homes. And he works very closely with these guys on Pumped on Property. So 
I think it took me a while to understand, but I think the way that it works is that Ryan basically, I guess, sends them leads and um, gets an affiliate commission um, whenever a p certain person signs on with Pumped On Property uh, with them as their buyer's agent. Sorry, I feel like I'm very convoluted in my languaging today and that's because I didn't sleep. Anyways, I've been struggling to sleep because of COVID and not being able to separate work and home life, but that's another story. These guys over at Prompt On Property, they're Simon and Ben, who are sort of their brothers and they're the main people that you see on the channel, though there's their entire family and other workers with them. Um, but they're actually the buyer's agent that I went with uh, when I purchased my second property. And I talk about all the costs involved in purchasing my second property. I honestly felt that they were super, all, all of these people, Simon, Ben and Ryan, just really authentic. Um, we're there purely just to help you and they're the type of people who I feel like they're not gonna hard sell you Sorry, it's not that I feel like I know this because I've gone through the entire process myself And I would have only gone through that process if I wasn't being hard sold I hate getting salesy copywriting emails and you know being retargeted and just being spammed with marketing emails telling me that I need to do something like I'd rather just have a real conversation with somebody so I felt like the vibe that you get from these people is really just they're there to help you and I think even if you aren't looking for a buyer's agent, which I wasn't even at the time, but I realized that, you know, these guys could do a lot of the legwork for me and that I wouldn't need to learn as much about property as I needed to. And that's why I eventually went with them because I found all the education so informative. You absolutely don't need to go and get a buyer's agent yourself. You can totally just consume the content yourself. And if you think that you're somebody who wants to get to know the property market more than I did and do your own thing, they give you so much information to go and do it yourself. Like check out CoreLogic, for example, how to read the data. And there's actually several videos where Ben goes through the data himself and sort of talks you through that entire process, which is really cool. So on property and Pumped on Property were two YouTube channels that I really resonated with when I was doing my property research. But even within the space of the past, I'd say like six months or so, I've seen a lot of new kids on the block, a lot of new people on YouTube, buyers, agents, property enthusiasts, just sharing their stories, which I think is totally awesome. I actually came across, as I was researching this video, a guy called Ravi, and he has a channel called Search Property TV. And I actually really liked what he had to say as well. And he seems like another really authentic, genuine guy. I think his strategy just from the few videos that I watched is that he is going for properties in the Tasmania, Adelaide and some pockets of major cities like Sydney and also regional areas as well. This is in contrast to the people at Pumped On Property who are very much so investing in the Brisbane area. So you can see that even just from these couple of different channels, there's different advice. And that's why I wanna hone in again, that at the end of the day, you need to do your research and figure out what is going to work with you? What makes sense in your situation? Because yeah, there's just gonna always be a lot of conflicting information and you just kind of have to cut out the crap and go with what you know and what you want. A few of these channels have podcasts as well. So I know that I actually really like listening to Pumped On Property via podcast when I'm going for a walk, just because often they're sort of just chatting about, you know, their own property journey, what's been happening lately, and just having a banter, which is always really fun as well. Now I'm gonna put extra resources that didn't make it into this video in the description box below. I think most of these just hit the mark for me, and that's because I was at a different stage from what the book was offering. So for example, a notable one is Smash Avocado, which is, I think, obviously written for your millennial. I came across this video 
after having already purchased my second property so I kind of felt like the really really basic things that she covers such as you know what is a home loan how much can you borrow where do you begin how do you budget how do you save that sort of stuff I knew whereas some of the other recommendations in the description box are sort of more on the other end where it's a lot more in-depth and requires somebody who is more on that sort of like intermediate expert level. I would say I'm intermediate. I wouldn't say that I'm intermediate expert, if that's any sort of tangible scaling for you. There are also some fringe recommendations that I would have loved to share with you on this video, but I think it goes beyond the scope of this video because they're more general finance books and resources. So if you'd like me to create a series on my book recommendations, I was thinking of topics based on, you know, book recommendations for finance, book recommendations for productivity, book recommendations for, what did I write? business, mindfulness, then please let me know in the comment section below. I would absolutely love your input because, hey, I'm soaking up all of the comments right now and really just garnering and tailoring all of my upcoming videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.